Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Samantha. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my first chit chat get ready with me. And I'm a bit scared. Just because I'm not used to making these type of videos, I haven't really gotten used to like speaking to the camera. So yeah, like I said in my last video, please bear with me. So for today's look, I want to do something a little like grungy. I don't know if that's the term, but yeah, I wanted to do like dark eyes, like a dark lip, like dramatic. Yeah, this is gonna be like a full, full glam. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my eyes. I'm gonna use this palette from Morphe. This is the 35OM palette. I'm gonna go in with this brownish, like chocolatey shade. And then I'm just gonna pack that like all over my lid. I didn't prime my eyelid. One second. I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape to prime my lid. This is in light medium. And then I'm just gonna blend this concealer on my eye. And then I'm just gonna set it with the Laura Mercier setting powder in translucent. Sorry if I'm a bit silent at some points. It's just because I'm not really used to like talking and doing my makeup at the same time. Where like all of my makeup videos on YouTube have been voiceovers, I've never like had the chance to practice like speaking to the camera and like doing my makeup at the same time. So yeah, apologies for when I'm silent. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with that Morphe palette and that chocolate shade I was talking about. And then I'm just going to pack that ball over my lid. I just love Morphe eyeshadows, like they're so pigmented. Okay, so I'm assuming like this is the time like I'm meant to be like chit chatting. I'm <clears throat> sorry, I'm so bad at this. So should we talk about like New Year's resolutions? I know it's like so cliche like to be making these sort of videos in January. So this year I've decided to go to the gym. I'm like the most unfit person ever. I have no arm strength no leg strength, no core strength. I'm just very unfit. And even though like I'm quite small, I just didn't like the idea of like me being like super unfit, especially like I'm still quite young, like I'm 22. And like, I can't walk up stairs, literally just like any stairs, I'm just dying. I just feel like my heart is gonna come out of my chest. So yeah, so one of my goals for this year has been like to just be more active and just kind of like try and be happy with how I am just as a whole, just like mentally, physically, emotionally. Oh, and also I've been vegan for about a week now. I'm not trying to like go completely vegan and just be vegan like, for the rest of my life. But I just kind of wanted to challenge myself. I just wanted to see if I was able to do it because I love food. Yeah, I just love food. Like I love all food. I love meat. I love seafood. I love junk food. Like I just, I just love all food. And it got to a point where I was just like ordering takeaway every day. And I just didn't care about like what I was putting into my body. And so this year I kind of want to change that. Like I feel like my mindset about putting things into your body like has kind of changed um yeah I'm just a bit more conscious really of like my health and I just wanted to see like how I would feel being vegan so yeah I'm just trying to just get myself right really I'm gonna go in with this shade here can you see it can you see it this one I'm just gonna go above my crease to sort of like blow it out so yeah, I just thought I'd try out being vegan, see how I feel about it. And you never know, like I might end up like being vegan for the rest of my life. But I still think about like McDonald's and stuff like that. And the other day I went to Burger King and I tried the um, the Rebel Whopper. I don't know if like, they have this in like America and other parts of the world, but um, yeah, in the UK we have a Rebel Whopper and basically it's a Burger King Whopper that's plant-based. And I tried it and it, it was actually nice, like, I can't lie. But it's weird. This is just really, really weird. But basically, 
they don't advertise it as vegan because they cook it on the same grill as the beef burgers. I just don't get it. I really don't get it. And also they put cheese and mayo in it and those are not vegan. So I had to ask them to take out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with like a darker shade. Let's say like this shade here in the corner. This look is like super easy to do. I'm not that great eyeshadow, can't lie. But yeah, these shades are like so easy to use. So that just shows that this is a good palette. I've made so many chit chat get ready with me so far in the past. And I've never wanted to upload any of them just because I, don't know, I just kind of felt a bit embarrassed. But at the same time, if I'm not myself in my videos, then you guys are never really going to get to know me. So I feel like I just have to kind of just step out of my comfort zone and just upload it. Oh, in terms of like YouTube and stuff, like Instagram, my goal for the end of the year in terms of like how many followers I have, I want to try and aim for 500,000. It's aiming really, really high, but at the same time, I don't know, I thought I'd rather just aim high. Another thing that I want to improve on in the new year is to get better eyeshadow <laughs> because I'm not gonna lie, this is looking a bit bad. But I don't know, I'll try and make it work. Can you guys like comment down below like tips on how to get better eyeshadow? Because I just feel like whenever I try and blend things together, it just doesn't look right. I want to put some eyeliner on because I always used to wear eyeliner and I just completely forgot about it. I hope I still remember how to do eyeliner. I'm gonna use this um, eyeliner from Sleek. It's the Fierce Felt Liner. Hello. There we go. Okay, cool, so this is the eyeliner that I'm gonna use. Um, I hope I still remember how to do eyeliner. Okay, wish me luck. Okay, so that's the best my eyeliner can be. I used to be so good at eyeliner. It literally just took me like 15 minutes to try and perfect this liner. So I'm just gonna put some lashes on now and these are from Tassie Lashes in TL7. This is what they look like. They are super wispy and dramatic. How I like it. So continuing on about my goals for the year. I also wanna try aim for 50K on YouTube. I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but yeah, like I said, aim high. I feel like one thing that kind of limits me in terms of YouTube is like I'm not very creative. Like I don't know what type of videos to make. Okay, so that's both lashes applied. Um, it took me hella long. Let's hurry up and move on to the face. I need to hurry up because the way that the sun is set up in the winter in the UK, like it gets dark at like 3.30. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is my favourite primer because it's super hydrating. Even though I have like oily skin, um, I still love to um, have like a hydrated base before I put my foundation on. Just because I don't really like that really, really matte look. So yeah, I just like to leave it on like that. I don't like to rub it in too much because I still like the product to like sit on my skin. I feel like by doing that, the foundation will go on a lot smoother. And it will sort of like stick to the skin a lot more. So the foundation I'm going to use is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the shade 280. So I'm just going to do one pump here, one pump here, half a pump, half a pump. I know you're probably thinking that's a shit on the foundation, but like I said, this is a full glam. I'm probably even going to go in with another layer, I can't lie. Like, I just love, like, full coverage. So, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what your goals are for the year, what you want to achieve. So, now I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer Super Coverage in Warm Beige. I'm not even going to bother focusing them anymore because it just takes too much time and I don't have any time because of the sun. So yeah, I'll just link everything down below. So I'm going to go in with this one first. And then I'm going to go in with a lighter shade. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in 
280. I know this is a shit ton of concealer, but I don't care. I forgot about my mirror. What's wrong with me? So yeah, I just blend, blend, blend. Now I'm just gonna take my Laura Mercier powder and apply it under my eyes. If you guys are wondering about my eyebrows, my eyebrows are tattooed. I feel like in every video that I've made, ever since my eyebrows have been tattooed, there's always that one person that says, who does their skincare with their eyebrow makeup on? It's just like, why does everyone feel the need to tell me that my eyebrows are done? That's the point. My eyebrows are tattooed. They're meant to be permanently on. Like, ever since I've started like showing myself a bit more like on Instagram and stuff, the more I realise like people are just so strange. It's like some people will spend hours and hours of their day trolling on Instagram. The things that people come up with these days, like they just make assumptions about you. Now I'm gonna go in with some blush. This is from EX, oh, EX1 Cosmetics in Natural Flush. And I'm just gonna apply that to the apples of my cheeks. I just love blush so much. I used to hate blush because I thought it made me look like a clown. But now I can't do like a full glam without blush. So apart from that assumptions video, I was thinking to do like some full face of videos. So like full face of Sleek, full face of Maybelline, full face of Fenty. Um, so yeah, let me know which brands you would want me to do a full face of. And I'll try and get that done. I'm looking hella crazy right now. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go in with that Laura Mercier powder again and just sort of like soften up, the, soften up and just soften up this blush. I'm gonna go in with this bronzer. This is from Miss Lynn and it is the High From Hawaii bronzing and contouring powder. And I'm just gonna use that to bronze and contour my face. It is a bit dark and it is very pigmented so be careful when you use this because it can make your makeup go terribly wrong just like that so yeah just be careful so i'm going to fill in my brows today just because my eyebrow tattoos are um, kind of fading away i need to go get a top up and then i like to go in with a mascara actually okay sorry about that i had to quickly change my battery so yeah i like to go in with a mascara as a brow gel and i like doing this because I feel like it darkens my brow hairs. I used, to use, I used to use this brow gel from Collection and it was in dark brown. But I feel like it was just a little bit too light. So I started using mascara. It is a bit risky just because this is another one of them things that can make your makeup go completely wrong. Let's hope I didn't jinx myself. So I just softly go over my brow hairs. Can you guys see that difference they made? Now moving on to lips, I'm going to go in with the Kiko Precision Lip Pencil in 313. I'm going to overline like a little bit, but not like crazy overline. And then I'm going to go in with this Sleek Matte Me Lip Cream. And this is in the shade Chocolate Meringue. Okay, so for the last step, I'm just going to um, apply some black eyeliner to my bottom bottom lash line is that what it's called sorry i'm not really good with these like technical terms of makeup <clears throat> and then once i've done that i'm going to go in with this shade here and i'm just going to smoke out that black liner and then to finish off the look i just applied some mascara okay i think i want to change this lip I'm not gonna lie okay so i had to do a little last minute change because i wasn't feeling that lip so I just used that same Kiko lip liner and then I went in with my handy dandy NYX soft matte lip cream in London. This is like my favourite nude. But yeah, I think we are done. And that is the makeup look finished. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did like this video, then please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also comment down below what you guys thought of this video. Please let me know some suggestions of how I can improve my get ready with me videos. Like, I know I'm not the best at speaking to the camera. All right, let me stop speaking now. I know you're probably tired of hearing me speak. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.